everybody, it's Pina here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little Easter eggs. They really, really are sweet and um, you can make them in all a sort, you know, assortment of colours and they're absolutely very simple and very easy to make and very quick. You can make a lot of Easter eggs in a short space of time. So I'm going to show you how to make these. These are made from a really nice organic cotton. And of course it gives it that nice kind of smooth texture and I think they really really are sweet and they I've made them so they are dual um, colors I've got the center panel and that's in you know contrasting colors and then you've got the the outer bit which is two-tone so I've got um, I've got yellow and green and so on and all these have got two sides to them so you can have them that way or that way and they absolutely are adorable as you can see really pretty and there's the back there's a the front you can have them any any way you want different colors different um, sort of different two-tone effect as you can see so I'm going to show you how to make these adorable uh, Easter eggs and um, to start with we're going to need a the, the yarn and the utensils I'm going to use now the basket, the tray, this is the tray. I'll just take the eggs out so you can see. The tray is just um, something I've made very quick and easy and I can show you how to do that in the next video. Um, it's literally just a little tray and it's a basket tray made with different um, different type of uh, yarn. It's, in fact, it's not a yarn, it's more like a cord. So I made this very simple um, and I'll show you how to make that in another video, which I'll attach to this video. Now. The eggs are all amazingly, um... now I'm just going to put these eggs into this basket again, back into the basket and we're going to show you now, I'm going to show you what I've used for this um, project. So I'm just pop the eggs aside. Now for this you're going to need a, let's have a look, that is a three millimetre hook if you can see there, three millimetre hook and you're going to need a pair of scissors of course and uh, a needle a darning needle just to sew in your ends and you're also going to need for the filling some of this cushion uh, filling and it's um and it's also called soft toy filling you can buy it any sort of craft shops you can buy it online and they come in a, a bag which lasts a long way it goes a long way so I'm going to um, put the link in the description of what I used for this one and also for what I used for the the Easter eggs now for the Easter eggs I used I'm gonna get grab just one of the colors which is this color here and this is how it looks this is vintage lilac this color and lemon and I'll put the colours in the description box below. I'll put all the colours that I used here. If you're interested in uh, all of these colours, I'll put all the colours in the description box below so you can see what colours I've used. Um, they're all very pretty, as you can see, pretty colours. And this, this particular yarn is soft cotton. Now I've got a label here and you get it from the UK, but you can get very similar anywhere else as well. And if I can find the similar... Uh, make to this type of uh, yarn I will link it down below and it's called Knit Craft it's only natural and it's a DK 100% cotton and it's also Egyptian I think it's organic sorry organic cotton it's 100% uh, organic cotton material and it's absolutely beautiful to work with it has quite a few shreds to the fiber and it, it can shred you know if you're not careful it's quite like it's quite separate it can separate but it really is lovely it's lovely to use because it's smooth and it's really smooth and cottony and soft it's really really lovely so I'm going to use the vintage um I think it's lilac or vintage lilac yes this is the vintage lilac and the, I think this is lemon so I'm going to use these two today this these two com colors just for the demonstration purposes that's all and so let's get started now I'm going to start with my center color now my center color is going to be this color for the very first panel the front panel uh, as I said it's a two-tone um, so I'm just doing the yellow bit in the middle for now so to do the yellow bit we're just going to grab our hook and we're going to do a magic ring and in order to do a magic ring 
we're going to just do cross over your two fingers like so put your hook underneath and just pull up a loop like that and pinch your ring just let go of your fingers and then pinch your ring like that hold on to this big loop and then I'm going to chain up three from here so one two three and it's wise to do this relatively tight if you can because it just it gives it a better look so I'm just going to now do um, we need three double crochets into this ring and that's included as a double crochet the chain three so I'm just going to tighten up a little bit more and I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into the ring pull up a loop pull through two pull through two that's two in total with the chain three yarn over insert your hook into the ring pull up a loop pull through two pull through two so that's your three double crochets into the ring chain two one two and into the ring again we're going to do a three more double crochets so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and then continue until you've got three so that's two and three three okay chain two and into the same ring again you're going to yarn over and again do three double crochets into that ring three chain two one two and again three double crochets into that ring that's one two and three okay so now you've got four sets of three double crochets and chain twos in the middle in between we're going to just pull up that uh, ring with this tail end here just pull that shut and we're going to chain two because we need to do the chain two in the corner and then in the top of the chain three that we did we're just going to put a hook in like that and then slip stitch okay now just pull your loop loose and snip that off like so okay so there's your little square in the middle so let's just pop that aside and let's get grab our other color So I've got my other colour, now I've got my lilac, vintage lilac. So I'm going to, now what I'm going to do is a standing stitch into one of these corners. It doesn't matter which corner you go into. But I'm going to do a standing stitch and that, <laughs> that entails, I've got a video on that and I'll link it down below. You just grab your, your strand just in those fingers there. Hold your stick, your hook, sorry. Hold your hook and then yarn over twice. So, or you can do a chain three, it's up to you. If you're used to doing a chain three, it's perfectly okay. So I'm just gonna pop my hook into that corner, chain two corner, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, if you can, yep. Yarn over and pull through these two loops, as you can see. I'm just gonna pull through that one and that one. I'm still holding on to this because I want that to stay in place for now. And I'm going to do two, another, sorry, one more double crochet into that same space. There we go. So now I can let go of this little strand because it's locked into place. So that's two double crochets. Now I'm going to work all the way around this square to make it um, like a, almost a round shape. So yarn over and into this next stitch here, just here. Don't miss that stitch here next to these two and into this top of this double crochet we're going to do another double crochet so that's double crochet and into the next two double crochet there we go and then you come to the corner now in the corner we're going to do something different now we're not going to do a, the regular chain two corners we're going to work four double crochets into this corner so yarn over insert your hook and do your four 
double crochet. So that's one, two, three, and uh, four. One more, four. There you go. And then now across here where these three double crochets, we're going to work a double crochet into each, remembering to not skip that one. So we're going to go into there, double crochet, into the next one, double crochet, into the next one, double crochet. Now we've come to the corner again, and we're going to do four double crochets into that corner. No chains, just four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. So you can see it's almost form in a circle. Again, into the next one, double crochet, double crochet. That's three double crochets across there. And then into this uh, corner space, four again, four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Right, so that's four in there. Now we're gonna work across here now and we're going to do three double crochets as, as usual across there. So with your tail end, just you're gonna work over that. So you're, work, you're working over that to, to sort of tie it in. And um, we're now going to do into the top of this chain three from the beginning, we're going to yarn over and we're gonna do a double crochet, crochet into there. Next to it, we have another double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into that. And I'm gonna just put my hook there just to get the two strands. There you go. And then just do a double crochet. And then the last one there, just there, out of the three, you do a double crochet. Now you've come to the corner again. And again, we've done two already, so we're just gonna do two more uh, double crochets into that corner space. That's one and two. All right, so now you've kind of formed a, almost a circle. Um, not quite a square, not quite a circle. So now we're going to just slip stitch in the top of this double crochet standing stitch or chain three. If you've done a chain three, you just slip stitch into there. So, okay, straight into there. I'm gonna get my V from my standing stitch and there we are. Two strands, make sure you get the two strands in and then just slip stitch, there we are. So now that you've done that, we're just now gonna do the next round and that is, we're gonna chain up three to start with. One, two, three, all right. And then into every, um, into the next stitch rather, we're gonna yarn over and do a double crochet into the next stitch. Now remember that is the chain three and that's the stitch below. So into this stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, now, into the next three stitches, these middle ones here, as you can see, those three ones, we're going to do a treble into each of those to bring up the height. That's the only time we do a tre tre three trebles. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one treble. Yarn over twice into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over twice into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you've done three trebles. They're the only three trebles that you're going to do. Now yarn over and do a double into the next stitch, so pop your hook in and put, do a double crochet. And then we're gonna go all the way around this bit and do double crochets until we get to these, the bottom set of um, doubles, three, three doubles that we did. We've got the top set, which we've worked 
the trebles and then you come into the bottom set and we're going to do something slightly different. So work your way around until then. So I'm just going to go all the way around doing double crochet into each stitch. Okay. And then nearly there. Okay, so we've come to the opposite side of where we did the trebles this end. And we're going to now work um, another, well, we've done, we've done our last double here. Now we've got these three stitches here. We've done our double and the center one here, the center stitch, we're going to do two doubles into there. So we're just going to yarn over and do our two doubles into there. So that's one and two. So once you've done that, you're going to go into the next stitch as normal, and that means just put in one double into that stitch. Okay, so these three bottom stitches, you've worked one double, two in one stitch, and then one double. Okay, now we're going to go all the way around and just continue as before, double crochets. So that's just normal double crochets all the way around. Okay, so now that we've almost come to the end, I'm just going to do my last one here. Okay, so now that you've done that, um, we're not going to slip stitch yet. We're going to now, we're going to do an invisible join and we're also going to leave a longish tail end because that's going to be, um, that tail end is going to sew the two bits together because we're doing two panels, two of these. So I'm just going to pull up my loop as long as I want it to sew the two pieces together. So I'd say about, about that length would be fine. Just going to cut it there. So you've left a, a long tail end because that's going to be the bit that's going to sew the two panels together. Now, first of all, before I do anything, I'm just going to do show you how to do an invisible join. So what I'm going to do is grab my needle, thread this through, okay, and I've just left it like that as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top of, not the chain three, but the double first double crochet there, through the V, through the front back of the V, into the front as you can see, and then bring it through like so. Right. So once you've done that, you're going to just pull that tight a little bit. Whoops. And we're going to now insert our hook into this V here and just pop your your not your hook, your needle into there and grab a little bit of yarn as you go in like so. Okay. Now you just want to pull that tight a little bit. Not too tight, but just enough to close this. There we go. There you go. So now you've formed this invisible join here, as you can see. Okay, so now once you've done that, you want to sort of kind of weave your, this, this bit in a little bit, and you want to weave it up towards the top of the, where the trebles were, the trebles, where you did the trebles, but from inside. And you just want to sort of weave your way up a little bit. So insert your needle and just weave your way up to the top if you can as far top as you can go and I'm just going to go a few more loops through because that's the position we want 
to be at the top of the where the trebles are and I think the treble yes there they are just going to go through another couple of stitches there we are so now that my um, my thread is in position at the top where I need to start joining with the other bit when I when I make the other one now these tail ends you don't have to worry about you can just tuck them all in because we're going to stuff this and it's not going to show so you don't have to tile you don't have to weave all these ends in you can just tuck it in and leave it like that so that's how this 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 is going to look like this now go ahead and do another one and I'll meet you back here when you've done exactly the same thing with with, with whichever color that you want to use you can use the same color again for the back you can use different colors it's up to you and uh, I'll meet you back when you've done that make sure you leave this tail end do not cut it off because that's the joining part so I'll meet you here in a moment okay so I've done my other side the same exactly as this side um, and contrasted the colors uh, I'm just going to now get the loop and do a, an invisible join so I'm just going to pull up my loop like so okay and again, I'll get my needle and do my invisible join on this side. Right, so let's just do that. Again, you go into the top of the double crochet that you did, the first one here, the V, and you go through it one side to the other. And then just bring your yarn through. And then what you need to do is just pull it slightly and go into the other V just there, just on this side. And just put your needle right the way through and then grab a bit of yarn on the way just grab a bit of any bit of yarn will do fine there we are all right i'm just going to pull that through there we are right so once that's pulled through you've got all of your stitches all nicely neat together i'm just going to now sew anywhere just through the loops and the inside the the egg we're just going to put our needle through and just secure that basically and you can go back and forth and just to secure that nicely okay so that's done and of course the tail ends you can just tuck it inside I'm just going to cut that a little bit I'm just going to tuck that inside and so that way as we when we stuff it it's just going to be part of the stuffing so there we go and now I'm going to grab this bit this one here because that's got the bit where we're going to sew, sew them together and this is what we do we're just going to thread the needle here like so and there we are. Now I'm going to grab this bit here and I'm going to grab this bit too. Now you need to align them where the um, treble crochet, the three of them are. So there's three treble crochets and you want to go into the centre one. There's the centre one. And we want to go into the back loop. There you go. Back loop of the centre one. So make sure you do that. So I'm going to just pull that through like so. Okay, and then you want to grab the other one and also with that one you want to make sure you go through the middle treble crochet. Okay, so that's the top of the egg, the treble crochet, so that's the middle. There's the three of them and that's the middle one. So we want to go into the middle one which is just there. So I'll just turn that over, I'll show you. That's one, two, three, and that's the middle one, just there. But before we go into there, I'm just going to align this one and then take that one in and then turn it that way because you want them uh, right sides outwards, right side on the outside. So now that I've gone through this side in the middle, we're going to go into the back loop of that side, which is, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's this one here. It's this middle one here. So just there is the back loop, as you can see. Okay, so with that, not into the front loop, you want to go into the back of the middle treble. Just double check that you have got the middle treble. So there's my three trebles and that's my middle. Okay, and we're going only into the back loop, so back loop. And then just, just join it onto, just 
go into there again there we go just go through the same stitch you came out of bring it through like so so that secures it now once you've done that you're going to now go into the next back loops only stitches so align all the stitches together so we're going to grab the back loop of this one and the back loop of that one of this side and we're just going to do a little kind of a whip stitch if you want to call it that okay so I'm just going to keep joining now as we go along just going to put that through because that's threaded right so the next stitch you're going to see your stitches as you go along and the next stitch is going to be this side so you go for the back loop and the front loop and the back loop of the other side and pull through so again we're going to the back loop of that side and the back loop of this side nicely tighten that up but not too tight again we're going to go into the back loop from that side and into this side and just pull it through nicely just give it a little tug not too much so I'm just going to make sure my ends are inside as I'm going along and again we're going to do a whip stitch in the opposing back loops of each side so I'm just grabbing the back loops of each side whoops With my needle again there we are so I'm going to continue all the way around until we come to the other side until we leave a little gap we need a little bit of a gap when we finish not not too much of a gap but just a little bit so I'm just going to go pop, um, a bit more faster through all of these loops and make sure you tuck in your your little ends as you go along like so So you need every stitch aligned from one side to the other and back loops only. And we're almost there. It doesn't take long to whip this around. It's a very quick process. So this back loop um, it's just going to give it a nice little ridge to the egg. It's going to give you this little, little ridging, as you can see there, on one of the eggs. So here we are. I'm going to tuck that in. Make sure you don't go into the same stitch twice. That would be um, would be better off not to. Okay. So now that we're almost, I'm just going to do a few more stitches. My needle keeps falling out. <laughs> so a few more stitches, I think, and then I can start stuffing it. And I'm just going to make sure I've got the right. Yes. There we go. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to grab some of my stuff in before we close this up. So let's grab some of this. So what you do is just break it up a little bit and the cushion stuffing can go. You can also stuff it with, um, if you really want to, with yarn, extra yarn that you've, you know, like your yarn stash and you, you've got some yarn left over from somewhere. You can always stuff it with that if you really want to and I stuff it as much as you can to make them nice and firm not uh, soft and squidgy you want them pretty firmish so I've stuffed mine to the point where it's pretty much quite firm there I think so you can always add a bit more towards the end if you want to 
So I'm just going to put my yarn back into my needle and continue sewing up. So, and as you go along, just put the stuffing in with your needle so it doesn't get in your way. And then you can continue. And I've just got enough yarn here. You can, I, I, I should have made it a bit longer, but it, it doesn't matter. It should be fine. You can make the yarn a bit longer in case you run out of sewing with it. So I'm just going to go into my last one or two, I think, stitches just there. That's one. And I think one more would be fine. Yes, one more here. Just going to poke that in a bit. There we are. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into the next back loop here. Now when you do this, make sure your yarn length is pretty long so that you can don't run out so I'm just going to pop that through and I just about made it there you go and then I'm just going to get my the last bit here I've got my last bit of strand I'm just going to go in and into this into the egg and just bring it out here and you can always bring it out into another position but of course if you've got young longer yarn you can do that you can go through a few times, but I've only got this strand left, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to cut that off like so. Now, now that you've done that, I'm just going to, what you do is just give it a little roll like this. And there you have it. You've got your little, I'm just going to cut those strands there. That's from the tail ends inside the egg. So it doesn't hang out. There we go. So that's that. So there you have it. There's your little little Easter egg. Look how cute that is. Now make sure you just give it a little roll like that so it's nicely in shape. And you want the trebles at the top. As you can see, the trebles has given it the height. Um, and then you've got the bottom, that's the bottom where you've got the uh, double crochets and so on. The top is where you have your trebles and that gives it the height of the egg. And of course, as you've just, just give it a nice shape, shape it up a little bit as you, when you've finished and you've got your perfect egg shape. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And pretty. And that's your egg shaped Easter egg. And I've got multi colors here. As you can see, look at these colors. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. You can have any color you want. And I'll put those colors in the, in the description below in case you want them. And I'll just turn these over so you can see. And there you have it, there's your little Easter eggs. And I will be uploading the, the video for the basket or the tray, I should say. This is a little tray for the eggs and you can have the tray or you can put them in a basket if you want for Easter. If you have a, a, a normal basket, you can place them in there. But they're absolutely adorable, these eggs. Look at them, fantastic, even for a Easter present for anybody. And you can just pop that on the table for Easter. And they do sort of give great decoration for the table. Absolutely beautiful. And they're so soft and so beautifully just soft. Cotton. Cotton soft, I should say. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make some of these eggs. Let me know how you got on in the comments below if you did make them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Please like and subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.